any business questions, visits the UK's top business networking events to find the best people to share ideas about business with. It's a chance to see the value of networking, discussing ideas, learning tips and having a bit of fun too. Don't forget to join us at the community afterwards to find out the next filming date and to discuss ideas in the show. Okay, let's move to question three. Um, and then also we're going to ask our panellists a tip for you from their sector, which you can use in your business today. So, what would you do if you could start all over again? John from Reading in Berkshire says he wants to set up in business, but he's trying to decide which one. He trained as an electrician, but would love to open a coffee shop. So he asked the panel, how did you decide which business to start? Why? And what advice do you have for him? Electrician or coffee shop is quite a difference there isn't it let's try, start off with you this time sir well i mean my background was in telecommunications so i moved from telecommunications into wellness but i did my research on um what the industry was where i was going with the network marketing business now if he's going from an electrician to a coffee shop one of the things that i would say to him is walk up and down the high street and see how many coffee shops there are on the high street mm. um, if you've got 10 coffee shops on the high street and they've only got two people in there at each and every single coffee shop I wouldn't open a coffee saturated shop saturated market isn't it exactly yeah. so know exactly what um, competition you have around there then look and see what type of coffee, sh coffee shop you want to open mm -hmm. so is it a high end coffee shop are you just going to sell beans are you going to sort of have um, customers drinking mm -hmm. your coffee within mm -hmm. the premises exactly. decide on all those criteria before you actually start opening mm -hmm. a, a coffee yeah. shop how did you decide because you know the wellness and health area is, is quite a a, um, a saturated market in itself. So you moved it into it. You're coming. You're coming with a very analytical mind to this. So how did you approach it? Why did you go? That's the avenue for me in in that sector. Well, I know that um, the wellness sector is a booming industry and it's predicted to be the next trillion dollar industry. Right. So when you're looking at a business, you want to see where is the market growing? Is it a growing market or is it, as you say, a saturated market? Mm. And since network marketing and wellness is now predicted to be the next trillion dollar industry, I did my due diligence and looked at it on the internet, looked at what the experts were saying. One of the key things is that when you are talking to people about an area that you want to move in, Talk to experts. Don't go and talk to your family and friends because they are not the ones. I think we've who all done that. Yeah. Yes. 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 yes, and they come from a different mindset yeah. and different education. And they're all trying to support us as well, aren't they? But they don't yeah. have the experience. And if I can give you an analogy, if you are going to have heart surgery, would you go and talk to your bank manager to say, "Is this good de decision <laughs> yes. that I'm making?" No, you go and ask for a second opinion right. to another doctor. Yeah. So do the same thing with your business. Yeah. Talk to an expert. Okay. Yeah. I mean, it's hard to add anything to that isn't it really but, but Marta have you got yeah. any any advice coffee yeah, shop or, say, or stick with electricals if you want to start a new business is the business you choose the business that you are skilled in the business or something that is in your heart you always wanted to do and just to follow uh, so now about what what kind of coffee shop there is a need at the moment for mothers who used to work full time now they are mothers and they want to carry on networking with women who are professionals but they have children so they need this kind of coffee shops that they can have a coffee a decent coffee decent pastries and network at the same time so they need a space for the children, a safe space that they will be looked after um, in, a, in, in one side, and then they having the coffee. That is, they should be in every single town in the UK, and I think there is plenty uh, to think about that. Uh, and then we'll yeah, j just to add, really, it, starting a new business, you really got to ask yourself deeply, uh, yeah. why am I starting well, it? Why have I chosen that? You know, as we mentioned, is it because it was a good idea? Yeah. My friend does it and it's successful so therefore I think I can do it and be successful. You, you really got to not just go with the flow, but understand why in, in yourself you want to do that. Because once you start, it's not a half-baked attempt, yeah. a try-and-see attempt. You have to go two feet in and run at it. I think it's interesting. You go to some events where people are very, very passionate and they want to start a business but they haven't done any research. But you do still need that passion, though, don't you? Because as we all know, once the work kicks in, yeah. if you haven't got that passion you're going to give up yes yeah. absolutely yeah. so so what's our final advice then should he should he go for a coffee shop or or should he stick with electricals what do you reckon? Why not combine both of them? Yeah. Well, yeah. coffee shop, if it's a good one, as I mentioned, there is a yeah. hole in the marketing, let's say, yeah. 
I mean, if he, if, he, if he feels that that's where his future lies, then yeah. go for then it. Go for Take it. the risk and go for it. So there's the advice of the panel there. Right, I'm now going to ask each of our panellists to share a tutorial with you. Now, they've been asked to share some tips which perhaps could help you in your business today. So let me hand over to them now, individually. Um, Neville, let's start with you, shall we? What is your thing that someone could use today? OK, in, in life as well, and in business, one of the biggest things that I learned was be more interested in other people than being an interesting person. So ask the questions, find out about other people when you're trying to connect and speak, because in the end, most of your business comes from people who get to know you, yeah. and they'll only get to know you when you get to know them. Yeah. This is a huge thing about networking, isn't it? Yeah, it's not just about going in there. We've exactly. all been to these awful events where you just go, here's my business card and move on fast. Yeah. And it's when we start chatting that we, well, as we are right now, we're learning things right now Absolutely. from each other as we yeah. do this. Martha, your tutorial for people. Yeah, I think you, if you are running a business, you really, whatever your size, the size of your business, you really need to go out and network and engage with people. Engaging, bonding, working together is the key for success nowadays. Come and join any networking meeting in your area. Mm. Um, go on, just teach us a little bit of Spanish. Muy bien. Regresen, vengan a nuestras reuniones de negocios para aprender más de nosotros. Absolutely. <laughs> I agree. Yes, I, Are we in agreement? I, we're we're in agreement. <laughs> so now, finally, your, your tutorial for everyone. Um, <laughs> I've no idea. <laughs> For me, I think it is that whenever we go to networking marketing and uh, networking events and so on, it is a question of building relationships. Mm -hmm. And by building relationships with pe people, you may not get business on the day, but over time you will definitely get the business because you're building up a uh, common um, understanding of how businesses work and also giving referrals to people. Mm -hmm. And I think that is one of the key things is firstly to build relationships and it's a question of know me, like me, trust me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. People buy from people they like, Absolutely. don't they, at the end of the day. Yeah. So do we like each other? Oh, yeah. My quick one tip as well, um, from a social media point of view, is that before you write a single word, and I do bang on about this one, is work out who you're trying to reach. So many people don't, they just go and write any old tweet, any old Facebook update, and then they go, why didn't it work? You've really got to know who it is. I spent eight hours was talking to a client over the past couple of weeks trying to get to the bottom of this and it was worth every second of doing it. Uh, now, if you haven't been to a networking event, I think you've probably got the point from our conversation today that it's certainly worth uh, coming along to these ones. Chessington, Chessington. Go on, just remind us again, Marta. Yeah. Who wrote Chessington? The pub is called North Star Pub. There we go. Um, if you'd like us to bring the show to your networking event or business expo, whether, as I say, it's a paid event or a free one, then just go to the Shout Pub website and click on the organiser section. That's it for today. I want to thank everyone uh, for being here today, everyone on my panel for uh, giving such great ideas as well. Um, I hope we all get to meet you at an event very soon. Until then, have a great and profitable business week. Hasta pronto. Thank you. Hasta what? Hasta pronto. Hasta pronto. <laughs> Over the past few minutes, you've been part of any business questions. Now carry on the conversation on Twitter with the hashtag, or one word, any business questions. Or join us on the community. Just go to Google Plus and type in any business questions. If you'd like us to come to your event too, have a look at the business TV section on the ShoutPow website. That's shoutpow.com, the business TV section. We all hope to see you at the next event.